What's going on everybody? I'm Eddie Jackson and we're back at my studio, uh, my gym Fit Chef studio. And today I'm going to show you an intermediate style um, HIIT workout that you can do at your home or at your gym. All you're going to need is a couple of sets of dumbbells. Um, I got one of my protégés here, uh, my, my cousin Eddie Berry Hill. Um, right now I'm going to show you the exercises that we're going to do. I'm going to do eight exercises, each one for 45 seconds. And we're going to rest for 15 seconds and we're going to get through that four times. But today I'm only going to show you one round. All right, so the first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a squat curl. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. All right, squat curl. We're going to go down to a squat. We're going to come up and we're going to curl. Let's show a couple more reps. We're going to keep our chest up, our feet firmly planted to the ground, push through our toes and our heels. All right, cool. Go ahead and rest for me. You don't, you don't want to exert too much energy. All right, so we got back and forth jumps. What we're going to do is if you have a line, you know, at your, at your home, you can put a piece of tape down, whatever you want to do here. We have lines uh, on the field here at Fit Chef Studio. What you want to do is step up for me a little bit. We're gonna jump forward over the line, land nice and soft into a squat, go ahead and go. Jump back, go ahead and give me a couple more reps. So you wanna land a nice soft squat, nice and soft, keep your chest up, land nice and soft, and abs engage, okay? You feeling, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You, you sure? You, you, you seem like you may be a little nervous. <laughs> After that, we're gonna go into a spider push-up, okay? This is a little bit more of an advanced move, but we have some modifications that you can make. All right, so you're gonna go down into a push-up, you're gonna bring your knee, to your elbow. Now, for modification, what you can do is, you can bring your knee out, then drop down to your knees, or you can just do it like that, or you can go out, good, now drop to your knees. There you go, now do a push-up. Come back up, bring your knees out, and then, good, go down to your knees, and do a push-up, good. After that, we're gonna do a plank hold, so go down and stay down for me, we're gonna do a plank hold. All right, just a regular plank. You wanna stay nice and flat, keeping your abs engaged, arms locked out. You want your toes to be planted firmly into the ground, all right? Go ahead and jump up for me. Don't waste all that energy, big man. After that, we're gonna do a staggered row press. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, all right? We're gonna stand staggered. Our back is nice and erect. We're gonna stay on one arm. Make sure you stay on one arm, don't alternate. So we're gonna row up, boom, come up, squeeze those abs, press up, back down. Good, row, press up, give me one more rep. Good. So after that, we're gonna do a dumbbell in and out. So go ahead and take one of those dumbbells, place it right in front of you between your legs. Go ahead and split that for me. Good, so go down, squat down, grab that dumbbell. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up, boom, bring that dumbbell up, bring it down, go back into it. Good, good, switch arms. Good, there you go, good. Come up, go down, switch arms. There you go, you got it. You got it, you sure? Yeah, I got it. All right, so bring it back down. <laughs> Switch arms, come up. Take it back down. Switch arms. You got it. All right, so now we're gonna do our other side of our stagger arm press, okay? Stagger leg press, excuse me. So bring that arm up, come up, press. Boom, you got it, give me a few more reps. Good. Bring it up and press, good. After that, we're gonna finish off our workout with uh, a upper body cardio movement. We're gonna do dumbbell punches. So you're gonna use a lighter set of dumbbells, okay? Go ahead and grab those. And what you're gonna do is, all we're doing is just punches. So you're gonna rotate as you come out. We're gonna be going for speed. This is a core workout, shoulder workout, leg workout, mind workout. You got it? Yeah, I got all right, it. All right, go ahead and set those to the side. So like I said, this is an intermediate hit workout. Now, before you start this, make sure that you understand the exercises. You don't wanna waste time in those 45 seconds you know, trying to figure out what you're doing, okay? I'm gonna to explain to you all these exercises while we're doing it. So make sure you, if you wanna go through this beforehand and make sure you understand them because this is an intermediate workout. These may be a little bit more advanced than some of the exercises that I've shown you before. All right, so the first one that we're gonna do is a squat curl, okay? We're gonna go for 45 seconds. I have lost my interval timer. Here it is right here. Go ahead and take a deep breath for me. All right, here we go. Here we go, five, four, Three, squat, curl, and go. Curl, good. So remember what these, squat first, curl second. We're going down to a squat, our chest is up, nice and erect. Pushing our feet into the ground, make sure we're pushing our heel into the ground. You always want to exhale on the work. So the work in this movement is going to be actually coming up. So you're going to inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. A big exhale on the way up. 
There you go, perfect. You got about 15 seconds left. So the thing with HIT is, like I always say, you want to make sure that you're getting that heart rate up. So you want to start um, your routine with something that's going to really get that heart pumping. And this is the perfect exercise for that. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Second movement. We've got 15 seconds, so make sure that we breathe in deep breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, we've got five seconds. We're going to do back and forth jumps using a line. You can use a piece of tape at home or if you're at the gym, basketball court, use one of those lines. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, here we go. Land nice and soft, back. Good. Good. Perfect. So this is a plyometric exercise, a squat jump. We have actually jumping forward, landing into a nice squat, and using our energy to push us straight back. Good. So when you're doing a HIIT workout, you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're switching it up. Y'all, you don't always want to do the same exercise. You want to do something that's going to be functional, something that's going to work your core, something that's going to work every part of your body. We got about five seconds left. Here we go five, keep going. Four, make sure we're breathing. Three, two, and relax. So we've had two lower body exercises. Now we're going to move on to upper body. We got spider push ups, okay? You got about 10 seconds. Give yourself a second, man. I know you're a superstar, y'all. All right. So we're going to spider push-ups, okay? Remember, we have some modifications that we can do with this. Go ahead and go down for me. 45 seconds, here we go. Drive that knee out as you come down. Perfect. Good. The key with this is to squeeze your abs. This is a little bit more of an advanced movement. If you cannot do this, go ahead and modify it for me. Stay up, remember, stay up. Knee out to the side, good. Now go down to your knees, push up. Good, come back up, plank out. Knees to your side, there you go, perfect. Now go down to your knees. Now being that you're a superstar, I want you to do it the right way. Here we go, down, boom, there you go. You got this, 15 seconds left, good. Now remember, work your way up. If you have to start out modifying it, that's perfectly fine. But work your way up to see what you can actually get accomplished. Three, two, one, and relax, good. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so after that, we're gonna go into an actual plank hole. You got about 10 seconds now. So we're gonna stay using our core. We're gonna go down and hold it out. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and relax. So now with these planks, I know you know a lot of people have different variations of plank, but since we just went into some push-ups, I wanna keep with that push-up position. So I want your arms to be locked out. You're engaging your triceps. You can see, look at that rock right there. Engaging your triceps, you're engaging your core. Stay up nice and tight for me. You want your body to be rigid. It shouldn't, be, it shouldn't look like a hill. It should be nice and flat, just like a bridge, okay? Your feet should be planted firmly into the ground. You can come on your toes if you want to. Now, you have different variations that you can do with this. You can go on your forearms. Go ahead and drop to your forearms for me. This is another variation that you can do, but the, it, it still remains the same. You want to make sure that you're nice and flat, nice and rigid. Here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. So, next exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna do a staggered um, row and press, okay? So we're gonna stagger, stagger our stance, back nice and flat. We've rotated our shoulder blades into our spine. We got two dumbbells. Now you wanna keep your body balanced. We're gonna row it with our right arm, come up and press, good. Now the beauty of this exercise is we have two dumbbells, so that's gonna allow us to have to focus to keep our body in line and balance. Now, second thing is we're using uh, multiple muscle groups. We're working our shoulders, we're working our back, we're working our arms. Good. Good, make sure that we're squeezing our abs. In order to get from this position right here to this position, we have to engage our back, engage our abs. You got about 10 seconds left. I know you're burning, I know you're tired, but guess what? I don't care. Came here to work today. <laughs> here we go, five, four, three. Give me one more rep, one more rep. Good, you got it, big man. I see you. Like you, like you, you, you ready to do some things? Just a little bit, huh? <laughs> Just a little you know bit. Know what you got, Nick? Huh? You know what you got, Nick? Come on, man. Take that thing in and out. There you go. Look at you. All right. So we got in and out jumps. We're gonna use this dumbbell. Take that dumbbell, put it right in, right in between your legs. We're gonna bring it up to our side. Bring it down. Switch arms. Boom. Good. Now, if you can't use a dumbbell, feel free to not use it. Just go down, touch, come up. Go down with the other arm. Good. You got it. But this is an intermediate workout, so you want to always try to push the limits. 
you know that in a you know beginning i show you some exercises with about five where we don't really utilize weights you're so utilizing our body but in intermediate style you want to try to push your limits use some dumbbells use some weight to try to burn maximum calories and give maximum effort you got about five seconds left five four three two one and relax so now what we're going to do is switch sides with our with our staggered uh staggered leg arm press okay so we're going to take our dumbbells split our stance take our shoulder blades rotate them to our spine back nice and flat take a deep breath here we go roll with that left arm boom come up press you got it so remember key factors to remember with this exercise when you roll drive that arm that elbow straight back try not to go wide go straight back and use your back and your abs to bring yourself up drive that that dumbbell up through the roof now you can use a kettlebell with this if you're real advanced um, you can use a plate if you can take a 10 pound plate and do the same thing if you're at the gym and you know you're just beginning you can take a 10 pound plate and roll that and push it up good 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and relax so last exercise now this is the money maker trust me this one burn we're gonna do punches okay it's an upper body cardio movement so what you're gonna do is take a lighter set of dumbbells don't try to do this with you know 50 pounds get you a lighter set of dumbbells so what we're gonna do we're gonna bend our knees just a little bit we're gonna rotate our punches straight out we're going for speed with this good squeezing our abs is gonna start to burn in your shoulders your stomach your legs all that good stuff your mind we're about halfway home and we're gonna make it a little bit tougher now the key is to always push your limits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down just a little bit more. Now what that's gonna do is engage your abs. It's gonna engage your legs. You're gonna start to feel it in your quads. You're gonna start to feel it in your shoulders. You got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna take it up another notch. We're gonna drop down even further. There you go. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, you made it. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, that's an intermediate hit workout. We did eight exercises for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest. We're gonna rest for one minute and we're gonna repeat this cycle three more times. Now again, I'm Eddie Jackson, this is Eddie Berry Hill. Good job, you can find me at fitchefstudio.com, fitchefeddie.com, or you can tune in the Food Network to watch any one of my shows.